In the lesson 2.3 example, Tangled on the Slopes, we're going to look at whether correlated data actually has a causal relationship or not. So for the years 2000 to 2009, the correlation between total revenue generated by skiing facilities in the United States and the number of people who died by becoming tangled in their bed sheets is 0.97. That's very high. Does this strong correlation between these two variables suggest that an increase in skiing revenue causes more people to die by becoming tangled in their bed sheets? Uh, it doesn't seem like it. <laughs> it certainly doesn't seem like it should be. So let's take a look. This is a strong association. We can see that. And there are 10 points here, one of them for each of the years. Uh, from 2000 to 2009, the years with lower revenue from skiing, you tend to have fewer people uh, tangled in their bed sheets. So is it that maybe people are so fatigued from skiing that they get uh, tangled in their bed sheets because they're so tired and they have no idea how to get out of their bed? Probably not. What we see here, the, this is an example of two variables that are well correlated but really one doesn't cause the other. This is called spurious correlation, and you can see it in a lot of different places. It's unlikely that an increase in skiing is causing more people to die um, by getting tangled in bed sheets. Some plausible scenarios might be that these variables might tend to both increase due to cold weather. Maybe people want to stay in bed longer if it gets colder, and that also might mean more revenue for for skiing. Or maybe the simple explanation is that they're both tending to increase because the population is growing. If you'd like to look at more examples of this and maybe try one in your textbook, you can try exercise 9 in this section.